name's Richard. I am chaplain to MHA Star Hills in Lytham St Anne's. At MHA we like to think that we provide care in body, mind and spirit. And I suppose you would therefore say that it's the spirit bit uh, that is my remit. And the care of someone's spirit, for some people, some of the time, does involve what you might call formally religious things like services and prayers. But for everybody, all of the time, it involves those things which put you in good spirits and make life positive, make life happy, make life a joy. He joins in with everything and he really gets to know the residents. They feel they know him well enough to turn to him. Because somebody has absolutely no religious belief, no belief in any higher power, doesn't mean to say that actually there isn't a role for a chaplain in their lives. A chaplain has no agenda of our own. We're not there to ask things from people. We are here purely and simply to serve in whatever way. I have seen the benefit of it and I think it's great. I think every care home should have one. I have to earn the right to be by somebody's bedside when they're ill. I have to earn the right to be the person who holds their hand when they're dying. And the way in which I do that is I get to know them in a whole host of different ways. The residents, well, I don't know what they do without Richard. They absolutely adore him. He's a really big part of this community in this building. He's the heart of it. He's always available. You can tell him anything because he's so friendly and so and so good. And he is true to his word and well, he's just a very, very unique person, I think. We're terribly lucky, aren't we? Richard, without doubt, makes a difference to the residents' lives here and to the general atmosphere. Because Richard knows the residents so well, they actually request Richard to carry out their funeral services. And obviously we want to give that person the best end of life possible. And Richard is a massive part of that. My mother Dorothy came here in September 2007 for almost 10 years. Richard was very much involved with the end of mum's life. He was there nearly all day on the day she died. He talked to her a lot, he comforted her a lot. And perhaps the biggest thing he did was for the family afterwards, he came and gave a talk about his experience with my mother at Mum's funeral. From the spiritual point of view, the chaplaincy team is a wonderful help to all of the residents, whether they are Christians or not. A chaplaincy is a ministry of friendship. That's what it's about. I haven't managed to get to church, and I was missing that. So it was lovely to come in and find that we had a service every week. And he calls us his parish, doesn't he? He says, I'll, I'll give you the parish news first. Richard makes such a difference to this home. I can't even imagine not having Richard around. He brings a dimension that we can't give. He's very humorous. There's little incidents happening all the time that we can laugh at. He's not stiff, he's not formal. He is just good fun with them and I think that makes a difference. Our main aim, our chief aim, our overriding goal is that you come to this place to live. This is a new way of life. That old phrase, God has saved the best wine until last. And this is it. And it's the chaplain's job to make sure that this sense of community, of togetherness, of belonging, of purpose, of pleasure, of fun, of joy, of support, of comfort and of healing. That's what care of the spirit, I think, is all about. <laughs>